all has to do with the jaw today. We're gonna start that over. Okay. QOV with your host, Will Freeman, where I answer all of your questions having to do with singing and speaking and using your voice in a happy and healthy way. And I get a very frequent question about your jaw. How to use it, what type of tension you deal with, what's going on with that thing. So we're going to cover a lot of ground today having to do with the jaw. And one of two things will usually occur with people that are struggling with jaw movement. Either they're moving it too much or they're not moving it enough. And one of the key things to understand about your jaw is that it's a big piece of equipment. It's designed to move slowly and it is designed to follow. And what I mean by that is it's designed to follow the movements of everything else. It is not designed to lead. And the best way to describe that is your face, your mask, and your jaw are dancing. Think of it like a tango. Think of it like a swing dance. Your mask is the thing that's leading the jaw. The jaw is very important. It, it is a very important part of the puzzle. It's a very important part of the dance. But once the jaw tries to take over, tries to lead, you can run into a lot of issues and and that involves tension, that involves not, not being able to move enough, moving too much, splatting, all this other stuff, which we'll get into later on in this video. But one of the key takeaways, if there's one thing that you take away from this video, it's that your mask, all the muscles up here, your lips, your tongue, your teeth, your your cheek muscles and your forehead muscles are dancing with your jaw and the mask leads the jaw. The mask leads the jaw nine times out of 10 when it comes to singing, whether that's traditional or contemporary, it does not matter. Mask, jaw, not jaw mask. So now that that's clear, let's talk about some of the issues that people will run into with their jaw. Like I said before in this video, it's either you don't open up enough or you open up too much. Let's talk about not opening enough. So for example, let me try to hit a high note while keeping my jaw closed. La 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 All kinds of cracks and ridiculous nastiness uh, that could be all avoided if I opened up my jaw just a little bit more. Um, now, given that, a lot of people have a tendency to keep that close because they're either shy or they don't know how to move their jaw. Maybe they're, they're dealing with some jaw tension issues, which um, we'll go over some other things to help relieve that tension later on in, the, in this video as well. Um, and uh, the key thing to remember is that the more open you are, the less you're going to deal with those tensions, those those cracks, those splats, those things. Um, so, for example, here's a better uh, here's a better <laughs> example of the two. And you go way up into the stratosphere with less cracks. It's still there, you know, depending on where you are with your voice. But um, openness is the key to success and achievement when it comes to doing things with your voice. Now, the other side of that spectrum is moving too much. I will see once in a while um, with e intermediate students where they'll start opening up like this all the time and just like <laughs> really overdoing it to the point where their neck cords are getting involved and they're messing with their, their false cords and uh, it really is not a good thing or a good habit to get into because it can lead to some nasty long-term tension in the neck cords, which are very key to keeping the support and, and the relaxation in the neck, in the throat, in this very precious, precious space, in the throne of your of your vocal kingdom. Whoa, who wants to text me now? I don't know. They can wait. Anyway, um, getting back into what we were talking about here. Um, so the the key thing to preventing too much movement. The key thing to preventing uh, yourself from getting too much tension in the throat is to think of chewing on your phrases. Think of it like, for example, here's, a, here's an exercise that I use with my students quite frequently. It's the angry cat exercise where you go, meow, meow, very key that you keep the mask leading the jaw. Don't go, yeah, yeah. That is the exact opposite of what you want to do. Make sure that the mask leads the jaw when you do that exercise. And you'll find that 
as you keep doing it and you incorporate it into your speaking voice, into what you do while you're singing, you'll find that slow movement of the jaw and that chewing sensation will allow for things to be delivered much more smoothly than they would if they were doing, if you were delivering it like this or if you were delivering it like this. So, um, and those are the two extremes, obviously. The best things that you can do to relieve jaw tension um, are to relax it. For the first, very first thing I would tell somebody who's dealing with ex excess tension is to let it hang. Just get used to that feeling of letting it hang. <laughs> you can just go off in space somewhere. Just feel the mandibles, feel the the tendons in 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 the jaw. Really become self aware of what's happening here. That's the first step. The second step is to open up maybe just a little more than what feels comfortable. Just that way you can feel that slow stretch in the mandibles, the stretch in the tendons. And a key thing about jaw position, and it does depend on the individual. Everybody's built differently. You know, people have underbites, even overbites, etc. But the 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 key thing to getting a, a a great sound out of your voice is to keep the jaw and to keep it relaxed is to keep the jaw down, ah, and back, ah, ah. Like that, it actually dives into, and there's there's uh, previous videos that I've made talking about ideal head position. This is a great, uh, that video is a great segue into this one, and vice versa, um, where your jaw goes not just down, but back. Very important that that happens. Ah, it's designed to do that. Think of saber-toothed tigers, think of, of, of even our, our cousins, the snakes, when, uh, especially the cobra, when it opens up the jaw, ah, to get all that food in. Ah, we do the same thing when we go to sing. And you notice that there wasn't a lot of movement here. Let's try that with fa-la-la. fa la 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 <laughs> so you can see that there's not a lot of movement here, but there's a ton of movement right here. Uh, another way to think about this is a, the spoke of a wheel. A ton of stuff is happening here. Woo! It's going at the same speed as what's going on out here, but there's more distance to travel out here. There's a lot less distance going on here. As opposed to this, this is a big piece of equipment. So you can kind of think of a spoke of a wheel as you're expanding out, things become slower. So hopefully, 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 hopefully that covers a lot of uh, what we need to know about jaw tension, how to prevent it, exercises to do it. And uh, oh, to add one more thing on top of the, the jaw hanging exercise, incorporate the angry cat as well. Meow, meow. Try to keep the jaw relaxed. Feel The only place that you should feel a stretch is like here. You shouldn't feel any tension here. Meow, meow. Really good exercise as well to get familiar with the way that the mask um, uh, rattles and, and, and reverberates and um, resonates within your in, in your face to get used to that feeling. So given that everybody, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of FAQ OV. I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, don't forget to go and find your voice. Take care until next time and have an amazing new year. Peace. This is going to be the longest video ever. I'm going to have to do a lot of editing. <laughs>